Welcome back to the Pursuit of Accuracy. I'm Josh. Today we have the factory, and I say it again, the factory CZ457 MTR out. And we have it out for a very particular reason. Our buddy Elijah over at the Day at the Range YouTube channel got himself a Target Savage. Oh yeah! Come on, Savage Mark II. Oh, Josh, you want a piece? You know how to get in contact with me, buddy. If you want a piece, come on with that Springfield 2020. This is Total Factory. From the store, out of the box, put together on the range. He got the gun shooting pretty good with some Ely match, and that's kind of when the trash talking started. Elijah, I think, has forgotten that we do own the factory CZ457 MTR. This is the factory trigger, no Yo Dave Spring, no nothing. The factory MTR barrel, there are no bolt shims. The only thing that you're going to see in this video that's not gonna be from the factory is the Victor Titan cheek rest, which so many of you asked me about. Yes, this is a Victor Titan cheek rest. And we had from DST Precision, the shaft. That rail was getting a lot of questions in the last video. So here you can see it is on our ACC, which is housing our CZ457. But a lot of the questions I was getting about it were for balance. If you had this on an ACC, with no other weights, would it balance? Well, the easy answer is yes. It's really going to depend on what kind of barrel you have. Now, if you have a thinner profile barrel that's shorter, you can just simply move this rail forward and it's going to give you more forward weight since it attaches via M-lock to the bottom of the chassis. But back to the CZ457. So this MTR barrel was on loan to a buddy of mine and he's had it for quite a while. So I haven't had this barrel on this rifle. So I thought I would take out some RWS special match, take it out to 50 yards and see if this could keep up with Elijah Savage. And let's take a look at what happened there. Whoa, what's up with that? Oh, yeah. That wasn't good. Not too shabby. So yeah, the CZ457, maybe that's not the ammo we're gonna be using long-term, but it did pretty good. You could see there, there were some good groups and some bad groups. And while I do like shooting 50 yard groups for testing ammunition, thought it would be more fun to stretch the legs on this. So we went out to 100 yards at the KYL and we shot a few different kinds of ammunition. So the very first ammunition we shot was the RWS Special Match and we basically shot a few ciders and then we tried to run it and the wind conditions weren't great, but here's how it went. 100 yards factory MTR, RWS Special Match with the Arkin SH4. Just left. That was more a wind call than me or the rifle. Oh, okay. Just right. We can't miss any more. And we did. Oh, barely nicked that guy. So not being happy with that, I then switched it up to some SK rifle match. Same deal, a couple ciders, 
and let's see if that was able to clean it. All right. Oh, bad start already. It is pretty windy though. Ah. Eesh. Oh, yeah! Trying to pull out our secret weapon, some Ely EPS ammunition. This is Ely Team. I have no idea how it's going to shoot out of this rifle, but I'm hoping it's going to allow me to see. Ooh, barely caught that on the left. Ooh, barely wiggled that, but let's hit it again. There we go. Oh! That wasn't good. All right, let's see if we can do it again. Oh, just off of it. There she is. So at the end of the day, did we prove anything with a 457 MTR? Probably not. I think I figured out that this is still going to like Ely, and I am in complete realization that I never finished the MTR ammo testing series, and I apologize for that. There was a lot of circumstances of that. Traveling, having military schools out of state, ammunition not being available but ultimately that is my bad and i'm going to correct that the first good wind condition day we get this year i am going to take all the ammunition i have i am going to shoot them against each other in the same day we will take the top three we will shoot them at 100 yards and we're going to figure out what the best ammunition is out of this cz 457 mtr like i said i'm going to shoot it in one day probably going to break it up in two or three videos just to keep it from being crazy long but be on the lookout for that. Again, I apologize for not finishing the last match ammo series. It was kind of out of my control, but we are going to make it right for you guys. So I appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you on the next one.